people all over the state are talking about this. Fireball lit up the sky early this morning as a meteor entered the atmosphere above Oklahoma. The National Weather Service says this lightning mapper detected a sonic boom from the meteor over Wagner County. News on 6's Lex Rodriguez joins us with how you can help astronomers learn about the meteor's trip from space. Lex? Hi, Jonathan and Tatum. Experts say sending in pictures and videos to the American Meteor Society will help determine its size, velocity, and possibly even predict future meteors. It's not every day you see a sight like this one. It's a reminder that space is up there and that it can occasionally uh, make our lives just a little bit more interesting. Tulsa Planetarium manager Brian Kyle says this isn't the first time an object ended its long space journey here in Oklahoma. So Oklahoma has had a couple of impact events in its history. Um, there was what we call the Lost City Meteor that exploded over Oklahoma in the 1970s and fragments of that are still being found today. Once these meteor fragments reach Earth's surface, they're called meteorites and you might be surprised how much they could be worth. So meteorites are actually reasonably valuable. It mainly depends on what's in them, uh, where they fell from. If they're particularly noteworthy events, um, they can fetch a fairly high price. Uh, meteorites that are, say, the size of a fist, you know, you can get three, four hundred dollars for a rock that size. Although you may not want to grab your jackets and metal detectors just yet. I don't think they'll find much. If I had to guess, you know, considering how small this likely was, any fragments are probably going to be anywhere from grain of sand to gravel. Kyle says if a meteorite did make landfall, it would be the property of the landowner. People from western Oklahoma to as far away as Missouri, Kansas, and Arkansas reported hearing or seeing the meteor this morning. Lex Rodriguez, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.